Okay, so you're starting off with your drawing um, with colored pencil. So the first thing you're going to do is tape um, your paper down to the board um, on all four corners. Um, don't worry, you're not going to see it later. Um, and then take the printed out photo, make sure it's a high contrast photo, and you're going to create a hinge by taping it down just on the top, the way you see it here. So you can always easily lift up the bottom when you need to and keep it stable. Then grab your transfer paper, and you're going to take your transfer paper and you're going to put it chalky side down. Um, it doesn't matter if it fits the entire way, you can move it around. And the idea behind this is when you start to transfer, you're going to transfer anywhere you see a, an, a difference in contrast. Um, and, you know, make sure you <laughs> check like, like you just saw uh, Katie doing um, to make sure it's working for you. So then as you go, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Just keep transferring. Okay, and just to speed this up a little bit, um, obviously you're going to keep transferring the entire drawing. Occasionally you're going to want to flip up your paper and take a look at that and see what you got. Um, I also noticed that uh, Kitty's using a different colored paper, which is a colored pencil because that's a good idea because then you can see where you actually transferred. So something you're going to want to do before you actually start um, adding the colored pencil to your image is um, go back and create um, an edge around the whole thing. So just if you just use a straight edge and just lightly trace like that, you see that'll work really, really well to, to get this done. And once you have the transfer lines transferred and you have your border around your image, um, notice how uh, Katie spent some time going back with a, um, a, an eraser. And every single time you have a line um, that from a transfer line, you're going to want to go back with the um, the special gummy eraser that we talked about and get rid of that line because the, the basically the gummy eraser um, creates a barrier between the paper and your image and it's impossible almost to get rid of it once you've um, started um, coloring over it so just make sure you do that now look at the unusual color she's using it's not even though it's a red fire hydrant there's purple in there um, there's definitely some white in there. So she's playing around with some different color combinations. I think I see a little bit of orange. So that's something else to think about doing as you're working on the image. So have a lot of fun with it and let's see what you can do.